Hello there, escapers. My name is Zenavili Softer Pros, and uh, welcome to my skilling perks analysis video of the five different skilling perks that were released into the game on Monday. Mainly aimed at the fire making and smithing skills, but also at the remaining three skills that can be augmented by invention at this point in time. This video is essentially going to be split into three parts. The first part is going to go into uh, what the five perks are, what they do and how you can get them, what are the components you need. The second part is going to go into the details of which is the best perk and what are the best combination of perks you should be putting on your tools. And finally I'm going to compare the Rodomatic versions to the Crystal Tool versions of these two different new skills specifically the crystal tool hammer and the crystal tinderbox versus the pyromatic and the hammertron to see the pros and cons of each. So first of all you need 22 invention in order to get started so that you can unlock these two items from an invention bench. Once you have them unlocked you can make both the crystal tools and the omatic equivalents. These are called the pyromatic I believe and the hammertron. They're made in a similar way to how the fishing rod omatic is made. You need the base tool which is an normal tinderbox and a normal hammer as well as a bunch of components in order to make them. As for the crystal tools you just need to discover this and then you can augment it using a regular augmenter. Now the first perk is the prosper perk. This is actually a perk that people have been looking forward to. It's a perk that allows you to be able to find clue scrolls while skilling and it can actually be applied to any of the tools that are compatible with invention right now. So all five skills right now, smithing, fire making, fishing, mining and woodcutting. But it only has one rank and so you can basically guarantee it if you put one ancient component on there. Obviously you can combine it with other stuff as well if you have just one ancient component. If you want a combination or you can uh, put three evasive components on there. It's not guaranteed with those but I got it within seven tries with three evasive components. I got the cautious perk as well which is really annoying if you're in a PVM situation but this is skilling we're talking about so I guess it doesn't really matter. Next up we have Pyromaniac. It can go up to rank five and it has a 0.1% chance per rank to burn all of the logs of the same type in your inventory. That's a pretty cool effect if you ask me because that's going to be a massive XP drop. I'm sure we all live for that don't we? But is that actually worth it? Well we'll find out in, in a bit. Now, I've heard it's quite rare to get rank 5. Actually I got rank 5 within 5 tries with 5 explosive components and that's basically the only way I would recommend that you try and get it. Supposedly you can do it with 5 light components as well but that's just a waste. Just do it with 5 explosive components if you're just going for rank 5 pyromaniac. Next we have the rapid perk. This can go on either a smithing tool or a fire making tool. It goes up to rank 3 and it's a very interesting perk so basically there's a 5% chance per rank to speed up each action up to 15% and they haven't actually released any numbers on how much it speeds up the action by but it is noticeable I have seen it happen and it is a pain in the ass to get rank 3 trust me so the most likely method of getting it is by using five shifting components if you have that. I actually dismantled a bunch of offhand chaotic weapons. I think I spent like 800,000 tokens just trying to get this. I did not get it. I used shifting, five shifting components five times and I did not get rapid three. I kept getting rapid two and efficient which is really annoying. And then uh, after 19 gizmos with five enhancing components I got rapid three with some other perk. Unfortunately me being me guys I uh, disassembled it by accident. Yeah how about that? And I live to regret it to this day because uh, I used up all my enhancing components after that. I had 1000 and I used them all up and I only got one rapid 3 perk in about 200 gizmos using up all of those enhancing components. Feels bad man I know but uh, take it on the chin and move on. Nothing can get as bad as that Eddie pet. So yeah I would recommend using enhancing components. I mean I had a bunch from doing champ scrolls with scavenging three so yeah that's why i use them all up uh normally i wouldn't really expect people to have a lot of those uh, they are useful augmenters i guess but yeah you should get luckier than me with five shifting components if you're trying to go for rapid three but rapid two is very very common in fact you can combine it with pyromaniac if you use five light components supposedly you can get pyromaniac four and rapid two but 
I have not got that, and I think it's pretty rare, similar to how rare Precise 4 Equilibrium 2 is. But Pyromaniac 3 and Rapid 2 seems quite common, but I'm not a fan of these combo tool gizmos. I'll tell you why later when I do the analysis, but yeah, I would just recommend getting Pyromaniac on its own and Rapid on its own, really. You can also try it with uh, three shifting and two fungal components if you're trying to go for the Tinker perk, which is the next one. Again, it's a perk that can be used for either smithing or fire making. 1% chance per rank for each action to grant plus 10% XP which is really underwhelming if you think about it but there you go they might buff it in the future and it goes up to rank 3 only. I tried to get it with 5 fungal components because I had a thousand of those from back when I was going for 120 invention and I used to do muspas in Ganodermic but I did not get it that way so uh, yeah probably not recommended but if you have clockwork components you should try that because Tinker 3 is what I was going for and that's what I got on my first try with 5 clockwork but I kept getting Tinker 2 with 5 fungal components. I did 32 gizmos with 5 fungal components and I only got Tinker 2 so I think you probably better off just spending the money to get those clockwork components by disassembling dwarf multi-cannon pots and just go for it that way if you really want that perk which I would not recommend again as you will see very soon if you want to combine it then uh, try and combine it with three shifting components if you're going for rapid two as well as tinker one or two that's not a bad shout seeing as how rare rapid three is and there's no like really rare components which will guarantee you rapid three you just gotta use shifting and enhancing components and hope for the best and finally we have the smithing only perk the breakdown perk which goes up to rank five and this is a very very interesting perk in fact it could be op basically if you're trying to be super efficient there's a 20 percent chance per rank to automatically disassemble smithed items now the reason this is op is because it goes up to rank five so basically if you have rank five of this perk there's a hundred percent chance that you will automatically disassemble smithed items it is really really op and i think they'll probably nerf it it's not op in the sense you get a bunch of xp but it's op in the sense that you can just combine two actions in one for example if you're going for like protective components sharp components things like that that you can get from disassembling armor and weapons then you don't need to uh buy a bunch and just sit there waiting for 60 to be disassembled at a time you can just do this while you're training your smithing which will be hopefully for some of you in the upcoming double xp weekend in about 10 days the best way to get this is using five undead components it's not guaranteed though and in fact i wasted quite a bit of money uh, buying some tier 90 shields and a lens's helm to uh, get this i tried it four times with five undead components didn't get it so that was the end of that that was a waste of time i also tried it with five heavy components once which is one tier down for from undead components didn't get it either so yeah i'm gonna have to stick with breakdown four guys it's a bit of a shame but it's because it's only an 80 percent chance rather than 100 percent chance of disassembling it automatically but oh well i don't mind that i don't mind that at all and yeah those are the main perks you can have don't forget though there are two extra perks that you may want to add these are old perks but they are very very useful for invention skilling the most important one is the wise three perk you do not want to put this on your actual tool you want to put it on an offhand either a shield or an excalibur like i have and it will give you plus three percent xp up to 50k a day and uh yeah that basically means that it, you will need to get 1.7 mil xp in order to hit the cap of 50k bonus xp a day and it's very very useful to put it on and offhand as you're training these five invention skills in fact you can put it on your offhand and train any skill you like let alone invention only skills and enlightened so these two share the same components to make them five seren of five pious but basically enlightened uh gives you a three percent plus three percent boost per rank so plus nine percent if you have rank three and uh that will save you a lot of time if you wish to use that but that's an old perk so having looked at all the different perks, which ones are the best? Well, the ones I would recommend that you put on your tools are Rapid 3 if you have it and Pyromaniac 5 for your tinderbox and rapid 3 as well as breakdown if you really want to automatically disassemble items or rapid 3 and tinker combined with prosper for your smithing or if you're trying to prioritize invention leveling then obviously you want to put enlightened 3 on your tool and everything else is secondary now which perks are actually worth it the main three perks that we can actually compare are tinker 
pyro and rapid now tinker 3 if you do the maths which is very simple basically comes down to just a 0.3 percent increase in your bonus xp i mean damn homie that is pretty bad in fact i think one of the jmods is actually asking for feedback in order to improve this which and it will probably be improved but that is pretty atrociously bad compared to the wise perk which is three percent which is ten times that but anyway i guess if you really want to go for it you can go for it but i wouldn't recommend Recommend it. If you compare this with Pyromaniac 5, which has a 0.5% chance of activating per log, that basically translates to one activation every 200 logs. Every time it activates, on average, you'll have half your inventory remaining, on average, so 14 logs remaining. So 14 logs will be automatically converted per 200 logs that you burn. That is a plus 7% bonus XP per hour. Not bonus XP, but bonus XP per hour. The difference here is that bonus XP is extra stuff you get for the same material you put in. Bonus XP per hour makes your materials be used up quicker. It's not like you're getting more for the same amount of material. You're just doing things faster. So that's the difference there. I'm not sure what Rapid 3 does in terms of how much faster it makes your skilling. But it is definitely noticeable. And that's why I, w I would like to put it on my crystal tools or any of the tools over the Tinker 3 perk. Now we've got a debate going on. Which is better, the crystal tools or their omatic counterparts, as I like to call them? Well, this is similar to the same debate as the fishing rod omatic versus the crystal fishing rod. So let's look at the differences. If you're going to disassemble both, which you wouldn't, why would you disassemble your crystal tools? Damn. But uh, if you do, then uh, these are the numbers. So assuming an augmenter is 200k GP and assuming your omatic tools will also cost the same to make, you got those two at the same level. The second thing you need to consider is the crystal tool seed that you need which cost me 270k and the third thing you need to consider is either the harmonic dust 150 of them or the 7.5k gp up to 7.5k gp you need to pay in order to get the tool seed converted into a tool so you got so many costs going on there what's that 482.5k gp for the crystal tools as opposed to just 200k GP for their omatics, and both will give you 459k XP if you choose to disassemble them at level 10. If you look at the other situation, you got siphoning. So uh, assuming you're going to be using the crystal tool siphon for the crystal tools, which will basically give you an extra 162k XP, so why not? Then that will cost you 1.32 mil GP. If you, for some reason, choose to siphon the omatics, which I wouldn't, I would just disassemble them, then you can only use a normal tool siphon, well, normal siphon, I guess, equipment siphon, and that's only 270k. And, uh, of course, the crystal tool siphon will make sure that you get 621k XP as opposed to 459k XP. Now, if we look at the situation which you're probably going to be using, you're going to be siphoning the crystal tools at 12, or you're going to be disassembling the omatics at 10. Considering all the numbers we just talked about, it comes out to a plus 51% XP per hour for the omatics at the cost of having to make twice as many omatics as a number of tool siphons you would need to buy for the same invention XP. Now that's the cost uh, of that. Remember that the crystal tools may seem appealing at first but you still need a lot of money to spare and it's a lot less invention XP per hour which isn't really good but if you're a skiller and you don't really care about invention then go for it. Crystal tools are the way to go I guess because of the effects they give particularly the chance to save a bar with the warhammer not the warhammer the normal hammer and the uh, five times chance to spawn uh, divine fire spirits with the crystal tinder box and the fact that you only ever need one augmenter and that will last you forever if you just keep siphoning but if you're going for invention xp per hour you definitely want to be disassembling these guys at level 10 it's going to be quite uh, painful having to do this twice as often as you would have to siphon if you were doing the other method but oh well it's worth the plus 51 percent xp per hour i guess especially considering that double xp weekend is just around the corner so you want to be maximizing the amount of efficiency in terms of the number of skills you can train at once and that includes invention that includes invention in a massive way because these new skills have brought up the invention xp rates for skilling almost on par with the invention xp 
XP rates for combat such as air invention which has also been nerfed and there's been a huge balancing act that has been happening without too many people realizing but I'm going to go into the details of this in the next video which will be out very very soon and that will compare these XP rates and analyze different methods that you can use for fire making and smithing but that's for the next video guys I hope you look forward to that I hope you enjoyed this one as well and let me know your thoughts about this update down below I'll be keen to have a look at what you have to say about these uh, new skilling perks but yeah thanks for watching guys I will see you in the next one